Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. Hope you enjoyed your lunch and now are full of energy to carry this on at, at the end of the conference. And my name is Indrak. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Walk Bikes. And who doesn't know what Walk Bikes is, then maybe you saw the school looking four wheel bike that was parked uh, next to the main entrance. So this is what, and you maybe also have seen our bikes driving around uh, in Vilnius or, or Tallinn. Uh, but now you may have a question that why the hell Estonian guys here in future logistic conference and talking about bicycles? Well, mainly because what is the future? Cargo bike as a concept is actually nothing new. Uh, the roots of the cargo bikes date back to the beginning of 20th century, where cargo bikes were quite widely used across the Europe. But then the car happened, and cars started dominating our streets, our cities, and, and our lives. But this uh, started uh, the change with Corona crisis. For example, the annual average growth rate uh, in cargo bike segment has been at least 50% in past two years. So companies are returning to the roots and start using cargo bikes again. Why I chose this picture with Sainsbury's cargo bike is actually because starting from November, uh, some Sainsbury stores in London start using cargo bikes again, and they will start using our cargo bikes or or uh, Sainsbury stores will be serviced by our cargo bikes. But why companies are going back to the good old cargo bikes? Well, mainly because cities are changing. In order to keep up with the climate goals, cities have to push cars out by uh, establishing new car-free areas, by turning car lanes into biking infrastructure. And at the same time, delivery market is booming. People love to order things online. So it's a super controversial world. From the one hand, we would like to get rid of this, this car-centric city room where majority of the space is taken by cars, and turn to this, to more people-friendly city room where we can bike around, where we can cycle around and walk around. But on the other hand, we, will, we, will, we like to order anything online and we want, we want to receive them at least in one hour. So, and as we know, most of the deliveries are made by car or by van. So what is the alternative if we can't use a car or van? So what is the alternative? And it's not about only climate goals or, or more livable cities. What is about more efficient operations? Cargo bikes really are faster, efficient, uh, more cost efficient uh, in urban transportation compared to a car. And even in the cities like Tallinn, where there hasn't been done anything in order to prioritize bikes over the cars. We had nine month pilot with Estonian National Postal Company. And it turned out that even in Tallinn, Fog bike is at least 20% faster compared to a car. And the 20% is just the speed. If we count in all the labor costs and, uh, and the vehicle costs as well, then the real increase in efficiency was actually over 50%. And that's why companies are really eager and willing to expand the cooperation with, uh, with us in across the Europe. Oh, and, and the last thing. So it's a total myth that we have to have a, a superior biking infrastructure in order to start implementing cargo bikes. Of course, a good infrastructure would make it safer and, and more convenient for the driver, but actually we can start already today. So we don't need a superior infrastructure, but we definitely need a superior products and business models. Mm, Walk is categorized as an e-bike, so you can drive everywhere where you can drive with a regular e-bike. It doesn't require a driver's license, so it's accessible for everyone. The new age cargo bikes have to be built using the same approach as shared e-scooters or shared e-bikes are built. They have to be as durable as possible. They have to uh, be as maintenance free as possible and, and has a long lifespan. And also the business models have to support the fast implementation. For example, in Estonia, we are working with 
together with companies like Omnivore Tool, and for them we are providing, in addition to the vehicle, maintenance, repairs, customer support, basically everything. We, we're also working together with tech giants like Bolt, Bolt or Stewart, and in their cases, we are helping them to provide their couriers the best possible delivery vehicle on the market. So we are offering their couriers fleet sharing. So we don't need a superior infrastructure. We, we need superior product and we definitely need a superior team in order to take cargo bikes to masses. Our team's journey started actually already back in 2014 when we started building uh, electric racing cars. We did it pretty well. We managed to become one of the top three teams among 700 competitors. In 2018, we established our own product development company. So we did different projects in the field of e-mobility and micro-mobility. For example, two e-scooters, which are covering the streets of Tallinn at the moment. Their prototypes and concepts were made by us. And while we, were do while we were doing those projects, we learned a lot about sharing and micro-mobility in general. And we saw this huge untapped potential in cargo bike segment. So starting from 2020, we have been fully focusing on building a walk bikes. Of course, early start for startups are never uh, easy. This picture was made exactly a year ago. Uh, we put together, I guess, one of the first prototypes. We had to show this in next day in, in some clean tech conference. Now, a year later, we are a team of 25. We have our own production facility. We have active fleets in, uh, in Tallinn and Vilnius, as well as uh, offices. In November, we are launching London. And in addition to the large tech giants like Walter, Walter, Stewart, we are working together with local ones as well. And what isn't just this vehicle, just this model that you can see here in, in the conference as well. It's Vogue is the way how people and goods moving on the last mile. So we started with the standard model and at the moment we are focusing uh, mostly on co-commerce and food delivery and also postal delivery. Already next year we are launching the bigger version to tackle companies like Amazon or DHL. And after that we are going after consumers. So in next three years you will see lots of uh, walk bikes in, in different brandings, in different use cases and used by different customer segments. And basically that's the only way how to make urban transportation emissionless. So yeah, that's everything from my side at the moment. I don't know if we have time for questions, we could take some questions. If not, then I will be around here and we can talk in the coffee table. So thanks. Thank you. Would there be any questions from the audience? Because, uh, yeah, Jurgis. Have you checked what means walk in Lithuania? <laughs> no, we haven't checked that. <laughs> <laughs> That's in city city, when we walked, uh, they showed us the walk is written. You can translate. Yeah, because, you know, walk, walk, it's a future for to steal. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, like an invitation, invitation, steal me. Um, yeah, but uh, anyways, I, I have one, another question. Um, well, Estonia, um, a bit differently than Lithuania, is not considered to be the warmest country in the world, yeah? Uh, how would you cope with the, these open spaces in the, in the wagon, in, the, in this bicycle? Uh, you mean it, it doesn't have doors, basically? Okay. Yeah, so... In use cases like postal or, or delivery, uh, the stores can be actually irritating because couriers have go inside and, and, and out of the vehicle really often. Uh, the average driving distance, for example, for, for postal workers are around 300 meters. So don't mm. you want to use the door all the time? Mm. So, so actually, it's more convenient for the couriers. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And big applause.